One day, maybe three or four months after I had gone to Maihar, I was unable to play a particular toda with Zamzama passage Baba was teaching me. And he chastised me for having feeble wrists. Go and buy some bangles to wear on your wrists. You are like a weak little girl. I picked up my sitar and went back to my house. I was not used to being scoffed at like that and felt so aggrieved. Thinking, I cannot go through this. I packed my bags and planned to take the next train home, which was not until the next morning. When I was ready to leave, I went over to their house to bid goodbye to everybody. Ma asked me to go and see Baba, and I went to his small room. There was a mat on the bed where he used to teach, practice and sleep. He was sitting there, cutting out a photo of me to put in a frame. Have you forgotten that day when your mother gave me her hand and I promised her that you would be like my elder son? He said, go if you want to, but you will hurt me very much. He said it with a catch in his voice that wrung my heart and filled me with guilt. We both began weeping and then he took me in his arms. These are lines from Pandit Ravi Shankar's autobiography, the Ragamala, where he reminisces a, a small drift between his guru, the legendary Alauddin Khan Sahib, and how they got over it, and how Alauddin Khan Sahib took him as his own son. Isn't that the beauty of our culture? There may be human imperfections in any relationship, whether it's a guru sishya, a wife, husband. But isn't love that force that helps us overcome all the shortcomings in our relationships? Let's think about it.